Simply put, we don't miss. Let's get to it. So as a business, we're always looking at goals. And one of the goals that we had for Q2 was to get homes out of the ground. I'm happy to say that we now have three new homes out of the ground. We have a remodel project and we have two that are in design right now getting ready for permitting. We couldn't be happier with that. But what is our Q3 goal? Well, our Q3 goal came up when I was taking our construction coordinator around the job sites with me. We were talking utilities and we were discussing the pace at which jobs need to be complete. And one of the things that I mentioned to her specifically was this concept of no missed days. So what's interesting to me is that as you're walking job sites and you're trying to explain the importance of things within the field, the concept came up with a question that was asked, well, what makes the project in the field go smoothly? And I started to explain the importance of having people on your job site. And it might sound a little silly, but houses get built by people. And those people that are building your houses need to be there every day, cranking through their specific scope of work so that you can get to the end result, which is a completed project. And so I illustrated that in the past, we were able to build homes in about seven months. And that's great timeframes. The reason we were able to hit those timeframes is because we had the qualified people that would allow us to be able to get them on site, scheduled appropriately, and efficiently get their job done. Well, like most builders, things got a little bit muddy during 2021 and 2022. The building rate increased so dramatically as contractors tried to meet the housing demand that had bubbled up at epic proportions during COVID. This really made it difficult, coupled with supply chain issues that started to increase those timeframes. However, we're sitting in 2024. And so those issues are no longer issues today. And even if they are issues, we have to put policies in place in our companies to ensure that we can still get homes done efficiently and effectively. And that brought me to the concept of no miss days. I simply mentioned that during the years of 2021 and some of 2022, it would be common that we might miss an average of two days a week on our job sites, whether that be because of supply chain issues or lack of being able to coordinate or the lack of trades being available. And this really created a cluster in our schedule. Unfortunately, in the city of Phoenix, we have five working days unless we get a special permit to work on the weekends. So we can't make up for it on the weekends. It's also extremely hot. And so our guys have a hard start at six, no earlier. And in the summertime, really can't work past two o'clock without getting heat exhaustion. And so this really starts to compile some of the issues that we have. And if we miss two days a week on a seven month project, Essentially, that's 60 days. Let me repeat that, that's 60 days of work. Divide that by five working days and you've just added 12 weeks to your project. That would entail three months being added to a seven month project, putting you at 10 months. And this is common practice when we were dealing with unprecedented delays and extreme demands on labor. However, we're not dealing with those demands. And so what I mentioned is that even one missed day on a seven month time frame is six weeks which puts you at eight and a half months. And right now we're trying to build in an eight to 10 month time frame for our specs. And so it's really critical that we don't have those missed days because it could quickly become a 12 month, a 13 month, a 14 month build based on how tight you're able to get that schedule coordinated effectively and efficiently to get the project done. But most importantly, having qualified individuals on your site every day to be able to complete the work that's necessary to build these amazing custom homes that we're a part of. So at our company, we decided that the time is now to get back to normal building timeframes. If you like what you hear or have any questions about how we're doing this, go ahead and DM us below. We'd love to hear your thoughts of how you as a contractor or as a homeowner looking to build a custom home are accomplishing this no missed days mentality. In addition, we're gonna cover this property that we're at now. We're gonna talk about the schedule and how we've decreased our timeframes by about 40% over the last six months. So stay tuned for that release video next week. And as always, have a great day.